I've been wanting to build one of these uh, power boxes for quite some time and I highly recommend if you want to build one to start over at JD's Outdoor. I will have a link in the description to his how to build a portable power box version 2. He does a great job and walks you through the whole process step by step. This video is not a tutorial. I just used JD's video as inspiration and created my own design. I will include in the description links to all the parts that I bought and used. They are all available on Amazon. First up, the battery that JD had in his links is no longer available. I had to make another choice. After a lot of search, I found this one. It's pretty small, but it required a different box. This box is much larger and pretty much the size of your standard toolbox. I went with a pre-wired marine style switch panel, USB, voltage meter, and power port. I had some issues cutting uh, the hole for this panel. The tolerances are pretty small from where the screws go to make it fit through the hole, all the switches and the power ports and such. Next time I'll go like JD and do all single units. This panel was wired with one hot in and one ground and jumpers to the five switches and the three accessory ports. I wanted the furthest left switch to be a main power switch and that was a pretty simple thing to do. All I had to do was uh, flip the jumpers around. The problem was is the main power lead and the main ground were on the right furthest switch. So I ended up taking the whole thing apart and wiring it to my personal configuration. The panel does look kind of cool, but like I said, next time I'll go all individual components. The switch panel kit does come with a bunch of stickers. I'll have to look through them and see if I can. Some that'll be an accurate description of my switch's function. There are five switches. The farthest left one, as I indicated, will be my main power switch. Switch number two lights up the panel. These little 9 volt lights are pretty bright. You can see that I used a magic marker to try to create a hood effect. Ultimately, I used a piece of uh, electrical tape, put it down over about two thirds of the light, and that does a pretty good job of creating a hood effect and pointing the light down toward the panel switches. Switches 3 and 4 activate two of the 9 volt lights that I have mounted in the lid of the box. These lights are operated independently with the switches. I chose to put them on the lid for in a power outage situation. They do a good job of broadcasting light up to the ceiling and out. And the last switch, number five, is for a surprise. The Sasquatch light. As you carry the box around, this is your forward facing flashlight does one heck of a good job lighting things up. It's a cheap set of uh, fog lights I got on Amazon for about $15, so it was $7 for this build. I somehow managed to get everything wired correctly the first time. We've got power. I'm using a 150 watt inverter that you plug into the cigarette power port to power either a small TV or a laptop during power outage situations. Let's look at the lighting. This is before I created the hood effect with the electrical tape. Here are what I'm going to call the room lights, the ones on top of the lid. And here is the uh, Sasquatch light. Let's take a look inside. I used some Velcro circles to kind of affix the battery to the bottom of the case just so it wouldn't move around. Then I used a piece of foam to kind of sturdy up the battery just a little bit. I've got the uh, power port inverter extension cord and a battery charger that I will permanently affix to the posts on the battery. Ultimately, I'm going to wire in pigtails with eyelets to the battery positive and negative for all of the hot wires, the grounds, and the battery charger. This trickle charger from Genius, 
I've got one in my motorhome, a little bit bigger one. I really like them. You can leave them connected up all the time and they will maintain your battery at a full charge. All automatic, no back feed, no reverse connections. It, look into them. I'll have a link in the description with those. I built this power box to be used as a temporary power source for either a laptop or a small TV during a power outage situation. With this 18 amp hour battery using a calculator, with everything running, it should power everything for about an hour. A laptop or a small TV pulls about 15 watts. Considering that you're not going to be using the high wattage draw of the Sasquatch fog light all the time, I expect to get at least two hours out of this. This being my first attempt at this power box, it was actually a lot of fun. It took me about three hours altogether. This first version here that I built, I built this as a standalone carryable unit for a lady friend of mine. Again, in the description I'll have uh, links to all the parts that I used in this build. Here's a quick rundown on the prices. The battery was $40, the panel was $40, charger $30, the inverter and the extension cord was $29, the box was $14, a 12 pack of the 9 volt LED lights was $17, the fog light was $15 a pair, so $7 for the build. My next build for my own use, like I said, I will not use the marine style switch panel. I will use individual components just as JD did, and that'll drop the price dramatically. One last note, the battery clocks in at about 11 pounds in weight. This total build is probably around 13 pounds.